Gary. What's your name? Gary. What's your George name? Simpson, McCoy, number 3356. George, I don't know why you're doing Where this Where are we born, Gary? Rhodesia. That's, uh, South Africa, isn't it? No, it's Rhodesia. Rhodesia. Sounds like there's somebody committing a crime. Well, I'm chatting to you at the moment, so I can't deal with them. But I ha uh, can you please tell me what I've done wrong? As I've explained... No, what no crime I've committed? I've got to take your details. I'm going to check you. All right? So I was just driving along, and uh, apparently I was in the wrong lane going over a roundabout. He's told me it's not a crime, it's a road traffic offence. And now he's just saying that uh, he's going to check on, on the camera, uh, on the computer. Gary, you don't drive license, don't you? No, I don't. You got any form of ID? No, I don't. No? Is that going to be a problem? Well, it's easy to establish that you, the details you told me are, are correct, that's all. Yeah, can you give me a producer? Yeah, I can do. Well, it sounds... I, I did, I'd like to establish that what the details you give me are correct by doing another check on you, by giving me the actual thing. By giving me your driving licence or something uh, like that. But, George, have I committed a, a crime? You committed... First of all, okay, you came to our attention because you no, were in the wrong no, lane out around the I wasn't in the wrong lane. There. I wasn't in the wrong lane. You I wasn't in the wrong lane. You were telling him right to go to the garage, mate, yeah? No, you should, what you should have no. done is just gone to the garage like you were going to do. I've done nothing wrong here, George. Yeah, I've committed no crime whatsoever. I don't know why you stopped me. I've had a really long day. I've just driven all the way up to Norwich and back via Scunthorpe, yeah? And, like, I, all, all I'm doing is just trying to get home after doing a day's work. Got, okay, so where yeah? is... Where's home then? Home is in Weymouth, mate. Weymouth? Yeah. I just dropped off my oppo. Right, okay. Yeah. How, how are you getting to Weymouth? Uh, I'm going there tomorrow. Is that, is that a problem? Yeah, that's right. that's right. So where are you going tonight then? Uh, to see my girlfriend. In? Am I obliged to answer that question? I'm just making small talk with you. Just trying to establish where you're going. Right, I'm going somewhere local. Right. And unless you can tell me I'm obliged to answer your question about where I'm going, unless you can tell me I've committed a crime, I, I'm, 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 I've given you my details. Yeah, I'm not going to make any crime here, George. Your details you give me are correct. Yeah, why? Do, are you looking for somebody in a red Ferrari cap and a white van? Has there no, been no, a serious no, crime committed by, uh, by an uh, Iveco I mean, daily? If you can verify, we, uh, a bank statement, uh, a letter... A letter? Uh, why would, why would yeah, I have a letter uh, with me? Anything that's got your name on it. Why? Just so I can verify the fact that what you told me, your surname, is correct. Right, George. Am I being detained? This moment in time. What for? I need to, so I need to establish... What am I being detained for? Oh, correct. Am I under arrest? No, you're not, no. Right, so that means I'm free to go. If you want to go, but then I will arrest you because... What for? Able, because I want to establish, first of all, that you have a valid driving licence and you're able to drive this vehicle. And you you know, you PNC, that? what's your PNC for, mate? Because I'm not... I'm not What's your PNC for? I'm not convinced the details you've given me are correct. Okay, right, well, go and check your PNC, mate. I've checked them. There's no trace. But there's no trace. There's no trace. Of, mate, mate, I suggest you go and check again. So what... Yeah? What's, so, um, is it going to come back or something, is it? Well, no, I got... I'm, I'm not in any crime whatsoever. Right. Yeah? I've committed no offence, yeah? Got, you just told me nothing's come up. No, let's go back, but I want yeah? to make sure the details you've given me are correct. Well, why don't you give me a producer, George, and let me get on with my way, please. Have you got anything on you at this moment in time? To anything that could potentially just verify what you've just told me? Uh, uh, what, am I obliged to give that to you? I am, uh, you are obliged to tell me your name. And, I, and I've told you my name. Do you want my address? Yeah, we're going to take that in a second. Well, it's my, my address Have is you... under your oath, George. Sorry? Are you acting under your oath? I am, yes. Yes? yes. So, what, what, have I, what crime have I committed under I the law of this land? Sure that you are the Why are you disturbing you my peace? I want to make sure that I'm you putting you under your oath, you sir. I am indeed, yes. Yes, so why are you, you disturbing me? Are you looking for somebody who matches my description? Is Weymouth? Are you looking for somebody who matches my description? Oh, sorry, right. I can't believe you're doing this to me. Weymouth? I've done nothing wrong. I was cut again. And I was told by Martin Butler, who's the Chief Inspector of the Traffic Division of Dorset, that the Highway Code is not law. So... So I don't know how you can say I've committed some kind of an offence by going around a roundabout. What is yeah? What the postcode did I cause again? you any alarm and distress when I did that? What was the postcode again? Uh, Tango. Four. Did I cause you alarm and distress when I went out around that roundabout, George? 
There is a second did I, please can you ask that I, I, question? I deliver that address on the vote. Did, did I cause you alarm and distress? No, you answered my question, I've answered yours. What, what but you're saying I committed a crime when I haven't. I'm not, I'm not accused of committing any crime. You did, you said some kind of offence. Is an offence a crime? No, I was saying offence under the Road Traffic Act. So is that a crime or not? No, not necessarily. Because right then, why, why, you, why have you stopped me? I'm not in crime. I'm not going to get involved in this argument with you. So there I am, I've done a fucking really long day's work and this guy's just pulled me over because I didn't indicate to go around a roundabout. Yeah? Well, it was plainly obvious which lane I was in. I don't vote! George, I don't vote! You won't find me on a voting register! It's called consent and I don't give it! So, what address are you... are you registered at any address? Yes! That's what our slang for doing those checks, okay? No, I'm not a voter and I'm not registered and I'm not consenting to you harassing me like this. You've heard of police by consent, haven't you, George? <sighs> yeah? Do you know anything about your oath and what it actually means, George? Stopping people, harassing them like this? What is this, Nazi Germany, is it, mate? You can just stop me because you feel like it. I want to establish the details you told me are correct. So you're calling me a liar now? I want to establish the details you told me are correct. So you think I'm lying to you, George? I want to establish the details you told well, me... I'll tell you this to civil court, mate. What's this? This vehicle has just been passed into my hands. It's not registered to uh, my new address yet. It went in the post last week. How much is this costing? What, what are you on per hour, mate? In your nice new Land Rover, when they cut all your budget, what are you going to do then, mate? Harassing people who are just trying to go to work, or get back from work. Like you said, I've committed no crime and you're harassing me like you're the Gestapo. Papers, please! Papers, please! Where's this, Communist China, is it, George? You proud are you, mate, doing this? I'm going to get on the radio so I can just double check the URL address. <sighs> Fishing your system, innit, mate? How's your colleague? Can I have a word with your colleague, please? Why? What because I want to know what crime you think I've committed. Why do you want to speak to my colleague? Because he's harassing me as well. He's harassing me as well. Was there some kind of emergency? Three, five, six. When you put your lights on and scare the life out of me? Treating me like a criminal for driving. You can do it both. Okay, see. Thank you. Who did you leave at that address with? Other. Okay. There we go. That's all we needed to do. Yeah, why? To establish the mission. What, 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 why, why though? What crime had I committed, George? Okay, let me go back to right where it starts. Okay, at the back, round the back, back there. Yeah. Yeah, you were in the left hand lane. Yeah. Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay. That meant I was going straight on. Uh, there was nobody coming towards me, so I thought I didn't need to indicate. I saw you right. indicate. No, it doesn't work like that. I don't believe you. Tell me the exact law, mate. Okay, Joe, you're in the left hand lane. All right. If you if you're going beyond twelve o'clock. You should be in the right-hand lane and signalling right. What what law says that? 
That's what the Road Traffic Act states. Section what? I don't know the section. So you, oh, so you're telling me you can pull me over even though you don't know what law you're enforcing? So decide to choose to Is that what you're saying? You don't know the actual law you're trying to give me, but even though you don't know it, you can quote it to me. Is that what you're saying, George? Exact, exact vote. Yeah, so you're, you're... I can tell you what we did. So you're committing fraud, you're, you're pretending to be a police constable. Right, I've taken your details. You're pretending to be a constable. If you don't know the law, you're committing fraud, mate. So I may do you're out of order. You're bang out of order. I suggest you get back in your vehicle and walk away. Okay. Thank you. And go and beat the street, mate. Go and find some criminals, not offenders. Right. Yeah, because you know there's a difference between a crime and an offence, and I've committed neither. So, are you going to let me get on my way? All you had to do was cooperative. No, all you had to do was get on, get on with your job, mate. Go and find some criminals. Go and arrest the government, mate. Go and arrest all those paedophiles running the country. Go and arrest all those criminal MPs who claimed all those expenses. Yeah? Why don't you do something like that? Do the country a favour. Yeah? Go and arrest Tony Blair for an okay, illegal war, mate. See you later, George.